When you and 3D finally supports multi-view and is now way faster than before with their new AI Turbo models they just released. In today's video, we will have a quick look how we can create consistent 3D AI characters with the new multi-view mode in ComfyUI and how you can use it effectively to generate stunning 3D AI models. I will show you step by step how you can set it up on your own PC, generate different angles for your existing 2D images and how you can generate the best 3D meshes with multi-view and install the new Turbo model so that you can create better 3D models faster than ever before. By the end of this video, you will be able to generate consistent high quality 3D models, which are entirely free for your own projects. Having said that, let's dive right into it. Hey guys, I'm Philip from Pixel Artistry and welcome back to the channel. So we need to start today for this video again on the ConfUI Hunyuan 3D wrapper page by Kijai, like we kind of did the last time. In the last video, I explained the whole installation process, how you can set up Hunyuan 3D on your own PC and ConfUI. And this is kind of the extended version now where we will install the latest workflow again. And I can strongly recommend to check out my last video that I did before, where I explained the whole process step by step. So having said that, once we're here on the Honduran 3D wrapper page, what we need to do is to clone this repository again onto our folder because now in here there are new files which are ingested for the new multi-view node that we would like to use. So what we need to do is that we go into our ComfyUI Windows Portable folder, which we installed in the last video that we did. And over here, we need to go to the ComfyUI, then to the custom notes folder over here. And then we need to actually delete the ConfyUI Hunyuan 3D wrapper node over here because this is old and we want to use a new one now. So I will just hit here delete. And now it worked and as you can see it's gone. And what we can do then is that we now clone this repository here to get the latest version. So this is actually how you can update your when you're on 3D wrapper kind of, if you need to install something new. So what we will do then is in this folder here again, we will go here in the taskbar, hit, uh, hit CMD to open the launcher over here. Then we will type in git clone and then we will paste in the link that we have over here from the internet page. And then we will just hit enter. And as you can see, it's now copying over um, the when you're on 3D wrapper in the new repository and as you can see it's now here actually it just copied it over and we can now di actually dive in here double click on it and then we can see we have here the new versions that we need and now we can already go here into the example workflow and as you can see there's now a Hunyuan 3D multi-view example 02 and not just the 01 so what we can do then is to launch ConfUI again I will just open quickly um, that I run it again with the NVIDIA GPU bed. Once we open ComfyUI, we can then click here on the little plus just to um, get a new workflow working. And what we can then do is just to drag and drop the Hanyuan 3D multi-view example over here and just drag and drop it in here. And as you can see, it's opening up then without any errors anymore, because now we have also this node here installed, which is actually the new one, which we need. And there's one more thing now to do, because we not only want to install the workflow, but we would also like to install now the um, new 3D model loader, which is here the new uh, kind of model that we need for it. And to do that, you can just navigate to the Tencent page, which I will show you over here. So I will link this to you as well again. And over here, you can see that this is now the updated web page from Tencent, where they're providing us the Hunion 3D models. And as you can see over here, they have no new releases. And we want to use for this one, we want to use the Hunion 3D multi-view over here, where it says MV. So we can click on this one. And then we go to files and versions 
And as you can see here, we have here as well multiple models that you can use. And because we would like to use the turbo mode in this example, so it's even faster, you can then go over here and then you can simply download one of those files here and then just rename it by your choice. I always rename it then to this one here kind of to keep track of it because there are a lot of different models now in the folder, so don't get too confused with it. And then you can just simply download it from here. And then what we need to do is that you put it then into your models folder. So what you will do is go to your Comfy again, models, and then you have here the diffusion models folder. And over here, you can then simply put in the model, which I will also do now. By the way, if you enjoyed this video so far, please make sure to subscribe to the channel and join my free newsletter Future Frames to stay up to date and get the latest workflows and news about the 3D AI world. I would really highly appreciate that to keep running my channel and in case you would like to support me. So having said that, let's continue with the video. Okay, and once it started again, what we can do is that we go over here and we will of course need to also refresh our browser one more time and then we can go over here and then we can select now the turbo model which we just downloaded and renamed and then you have it over here and this is basically how you can get started with the multi view now if you have already pre-existing images you can now put them in here with the front view left right and back and then just run it and it should work per default as it is. And in the next step now of the video, I will quickly explain you awesome ways how we can generate the front, left and back and right view for your images that you would like to feed in. And now you can basically run the workflow. If you have already some existing ones, you can just let them run here. Otherwise, I will show you now awesome ways how you can actually generate now multiple views from your one image that you would like to see in 3D. So we're first, we will start with the option where you don't need a, a graphic card yourself. If you have low VRAM, then you can use this workflow to generate then the 3D models from it. So what we will do is we will navigate to this link over here, which is the Hugging Face CoSpace from the MV adapter, from the image to multi view adapter, which I will show you in a second. And only thing you need to do here is that you here simply drag and drop your image. So in this example, we will use this model over here. So what you can do is then just open it. And then as you can see, it will open our image. Here we can say our prompt, but I will keep it as it is because it's already working fine. Here can also say the settings that you would like to have. So maybe just increase it a bit and then we can simply hit run and then it will create multiple views for us. And this is really cool because it will automatically generate the front, left, back and right view. You simply just need to wait a little bit. Here it's about 40 seconds. So just keep that in mind. But I think it's fairly fast and you can then download this images for free. Okay, great. And this is the first batch of images that we got. As you can see, they are not working perfectly here. So let's play around with the settings a bit more. Okay, cool. And this is already working a bit better. So um, as you can see, we have now all those angles here that we can now use for our image. You can always play around here with the settings or try out another image if uh, this is still not to your liking. But I think for this example, it's working great already. So what you can do then is that we simply hit here then on the little download button and then you can simply download all those images to your PC. And what you can then do is go back to your Comfy UI page. This workflow here will basically also work with a eight gigabyte graphic card. So just to keep that in mind or even lower in some cases. So then you can use this workflow here and then go back to your Comfy UI and then simply then just choose the file here and then you can plug in all those images and run the workflow. In case you have a stronger graphic card, like a 12 gigabyte one, I created now a workflow which we can then use to generate it on our own PC with multiple options for you. So once you downloaded the workflow from the link I put you down in the description, what you can see is once you drag it into ConfUI, the JSON file, what you can see is that we have missing no types. But that's also no problem at all. What we can do then is that we actually go to the manager on the top then go to install missing custom nodes. Then you select here the Conf UI MV adapter, hit install, 
and then select nightly, select it. Then we're going to restart Comp UI. Just sit here, confirm. Then it's reconnecting. And now we can refresh. And as you can see now, all the errors are gone now. And as you can see, now the workflow is actually working. And on the right side, you will see something familiar. This is simply the workflow, which I showed you before, like the Hunion 3D one. So we can ignore that for now. And over here, we see we have three different workflows that we can use for the multi-image workflow and i created also this fast groups mutual over here so what we can do for now to disable the 3d gen is simply that you click here on enable gen to no and as you can see now everything is getting bypassed over here and it's not used at the moment because we want to focus on this part that we see over here kind of so first one we have over here is the SDXL general image that I created. And this one is based that when you have one single image that you can then generate multiple views from it. So basically what we would do is that we go here, we choose file to upload. And then you would also select this one here, for example, or as well, we have an example over here, which I used before, I think, which was uh, this one over here. And what you can do then as well is set here the height and width, uh, but I would strongly recommend to leave it as this because I try to optimize it for low VRAM usage so that it's not exploding your VRAM kind of, and that you can also use it with 12 gigabytes of VRAM. Only thing you still need to do is is that as you can see here we have a pipeline loader with a checkpoint in it and this checkpoint is a dream shaper xl version 21 turbo so i will also put you this link down in the description and then you will need it to put it in your checkpoints folder then you will need to put it into your checkpoints folder which is over here so you go to conf ui in your folder and then you go to models and checkpoints and then you will put in here the checkpoint from the dream shaper. One more thing you need to do is that actually over here we have the LDM VIE loader. And as the name already tells, we need an a VIE here. And I will also put your link to the VIE down below that you can download. What you need to do then is that you go back to here to the models folder to VAE over here. And then you will put the VAE file over here. And one for last thing that we will have is that over here we have an upscale model. As you can see, I'm using here the four times NMKD super scale. What you need to do then is actually that we go here to the uh, models folder again, same approach to upscale models and then paste it in here actually to run the workflow. Okay, great. And once you installed all those models, the only thing you need to do is then just select here then the Dream Shaper, for example, over here, you will also choose it that you have it here correctly and as well for the upscale one. And what you can do then is actually that we then can type in here as well a prompt. So in this case, it's just man statue and so on. And also here we have the positive prompt and over here then the negative prompt. And this is basically all you need to do. What you can do then is simply just hit here the run uh, workflow and then it will start to generate your image. Okay, great. And this is actually the result from our first workflow. And I think this is working pretty great. So when you compare it to the version we had on Hugging Face, we have here a really defined model with uh, different perspectives and I think it's working really great shape-wise as well. Over here we have an, uh, the upscale one which is working even better. We see now very nice details I think and we have them now in all angles that we actually need. So of course this will take a while to run the workflow. I have to wait here I think six to eight minutes. It will take a while to generate this but I think it's totally worth it when looking at those results. Next we have here, what we can do then is just hitting no here. And next we have then the text to multi view, which you can also enable over here. And this is over here the workflow. What you can basically do is just, this is a way simpler setup. You just need to select here again, the models that you will need for it. And you can then select here, like the prompt that you like to use, which is in this case, an astronaut riding a horse. And I actually prompted here also some results from it, which I can quickly show you. So basically it looked something like this here. Of course you can as well 
improve here the prompt that you would like to see actually as you can see it's not working perfectly with the horse but you can definitely refine that but so if you don't want to start from scratch and you don't have an image you can also use this one and this will also be less uh, vram heavy as well and for the last part over here this is the third option that you can use which is an sdxl open post workflow which i built so over here we have a control net which is kind of controlling the the generation image that we then first have and it will generate an image for us and this image will be then fed into the multi view workflow and then it will actually create us images and as you can see here i used the mick mumpet's post sheet which i will also link you he's a very great youtuber and a very great uh, youtuber in the coffee ui space so i can really recommend also to check out his videos and he provided this post sheet over here um, which you can then plug in over here and then you can also give it a prompt and i got also quite great results with this workflow here you just need to make sure to also put in your prompt over here that you would like to have and then it will make sure that your character is standing in this post actually and as you can see here so these are kind of the results that i got out from it which i think was really cool so this game like character that we have here in all those poses and it will come as as a t-pose where default which is really handy when you want to rig something for example so choose wisely here which workflow you would like to use but i wanted to just provide you with three different options that you can use for it and as i mentioned you can find this workflow down in the video description as a last part we want now to finally 3d generate an our model so what we can do is here enable the 3d generation again and we want to use now for example the head that we prompted over here which i think worked really great so what we can do is here as you can see i plugged in here already some old images from a kind of frog so what you can do is here just update it with uh, choosing the front then going to our output folder where we have the workflow and where we generated our images and we can see them here in the folder actually so what we can do then is to simply select, select here the front view then we will choose here the left side then over here the right side like this one and then we will choose as well over here the back view and then we can actually start running the workflow because we can select here of course then the uh, turbo model which we would like to have and here for the settings i can recommend to keep the octree resolution something about 500 don't make it too high because with this model with the multi view model you can't go too high here because you will quickly go out of vram and we don't really want it so just make sure um, we can also increase the guidance scale a little bit i would say let's keep it at seven maybe and also make sure to let's say maybe here a another seed and what we can also do is here to smooth our normals and uh, for the face number we also just only need 50,000 for this example so this is good and then we can run the workflow by hitting Q. What we can see is now that we have now the final result I mean what means final you can of course always improve it but as you can see here's the preview then that it gave us from the Han Yuan 3D generate mesh multi view which is great and as you can see here this is then the model that we got and i think it's working really cool from all angles now you know you have way more defined shapes than with the um, single view at least most of the times so this is quite cool <laughs> and uh, then it went down here and as you can see it also generated here the texture and this is the output that we got then from it of course you can then run it again through the sdxl workflow which i also showed in my la last video um, where you will also find a whole installation guide for this workflow here and then you can run it also over here but i think in general this works really great and as you can see you can always of course feel free to uh, play around with this workflow here you can also extend the workflow as much as you want you know so feel free to adjust it to your needs and a uh, huge shout out here also to the guys uh, on the banodoko discord server and especially to huns because he is uh, building all these workflows at the moment and i felt inspired to build my own here with the multi view adapter but definitely check him out as well i will also link his page down below because he is building a github page right now uh, with an even more advanced workflow which i will cover in one of my next videos but i think for today this should give you a really great base to generate this multi views of course you can also keep uh, using the single view for your 3d generations but i think this is really cool to really cover all those angles that you need 
and will give you a great base. Okay, great. And here you can also see comparisons between the single view image from the 3D models and the multi view image uh, output results as well as comparisons when you prompt it with the turbo and without like time comparisons and so on. All right, and that's it. So if you have enjoyed this video, please let me know down below in the comments and make sure to subscribe to the channel. Of course, also feel free to join my free newsletter, Future Frames, where I will share with you my latest workflows and so on. So definitely make sure also to check that out and actually see you on the next one.